Hi, today I'm showing you the absolute fastest texture painting technique for games or animation. And yep, we are doing it under 4 minutes. Let's go! So, I'm working on a few shots for my Berserk fan animation. Perfect excuse to show my favorite texturing process. Before we start, make sure Blender knows where your 2D editor is. Hop into Preferences, hit the File Path tab, scroll to Applications and set your editor. Whatever you are using for 2D painting, Photoshop, GIMP or, in my case, Krita. I've used Krita for many years doing personal and commercial game art. It's basically Blender's 2D twin. Free and powerful. Alright, so I modeled the sword. Nice and simple. I added a camera and light to set up a composition. Got good shot, rendered it, click, copy, paste, sent it to Krita. In Krita I start painting, pushing things as far as I can. Remember to keep your layers separate, it will save time. Don't worry about detail in the environment if you are recreating it in Blender. Let's focus on the sword. Back in Blender. Quick UVs on the sword. Add the material and drop in an image texture node. Create a new texture. Set your resolution. High res is good, but keep it realistic for your PC safety. With the image texture node selected, in texture mode, press the options button to set the resolution of the screen capture. I use the resolution of my sketch. Click, quick edit and boom, you're back in Krita. Copy your sketch here, click save and back to Blender we go. Hit apply and there is your projection on the model. The opposite side is still blank, but you can reuse the image. Project it onto the other side and paint over the gaps directly in Blender. If you are doing this for games, not an animation like in my example, do better UVs with less empty space. Now for the fun part, refining. Paint in Blender's texture paint mode or switch back to viewport, zoom in and send it to Krita again with quick edit. Paint, save, project, repeat. Go big enough on the resolution to avoid any blurriness. And hey, don't forget to save your texture. Go to Image Editor, Image, Save or you might lose the progress if you exit Blender or if it crashes. Trust me, save often. See how some of the details look a bit flat. Let's fix that. Model the detail, apply the same material and UV it into some unused texture space. Keep UV island scale consistent with the main texture. Reproject the sketch onto this part from the camera view. Now it has volume. Remove that flat projection from the main sword texture and fill the blanks. Want it to look less low poly? Add those broken edges, refine the silhouette, subdivide the model and use the sketch as your guide. The silhouette is what influences the low poly feel the most. And that's the whole technique. Export with quick edit, refine the texture, rinse and repeat until you're happy. If you go wild and tweak the model too much, you might get stretched textures. So be ready to redo UVs. There is a texture baking technique you have to learn. If you want to see this technique in action, click here to learn how I made this background with parallax effect. And don't forget to subscribe. Alright, see you there.